Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is It's Just Christine. For today's video, I'm going to be planning for the week of January 22nd to the 28th. And I'm going to be using this beautiful kit from the Pretty Pink Co. And it's called Frozen. Um, if you guys have watched my unboxing of the Pretty Pink Co.'s advent calendar for last year, then you guys would definitely um, remember this kit. This is, um, I believe, the last day of her her advent calendar. And I thought that it would be a really amazing kit to use for, um, for the month of January. Um, this is in her silver foil. And the quote box here, it just says, We wander into the wintry woods to live a quiet dream. Um, so this is a very, very uh, full-packed um, kit. I'll go through it and you guys will see just how many um, sheets there are in this um, in this kit that I have of hers. Anyways, here are the full boxes. Nope, that's double. Um, here are her layer layering, no not her layering pieces, her functional boxes. Here are some sidebar stuff. Um, icons and floral decos and then we have the bottom washi and the date covers we also have the washi trim we have the florals the deco florals the large um, deco florals I've already used some of them in my other um, planners and as you can see, there's more that's missing. So this page and this page is her... Oh, that's not the one. So this is uh, page two and page one of her journaling kit, which, like I said, I've already used in my other journal. Sorry, my other planners. And then this is the frozen ink swatches and the frozen deco sampler. So definitely a lot of... Um, things to work with for this plan with me. So if you guys are interested in this, please stay tuned. Okay, since I do have a lot of um, materials to work with, I'm actually going to be doing a decorative sidebar, but let's do that last since I always get panicky when I do the, uh, the, the sidebar. Because truth be told, I don't really plan out my when I'm planning and I just go with the flow. So when I decide something, I usually just decide it on the spur of the moment. And yeah, I really need to kind of plan this a little bit better than what I usually do. But we're here now, so we'll just, like I said, go with the flow. So I'm actually going to be covering this monthly um cover sorry the monthly the january script because i want to put this at the top here so this is the floral um deco trim and if you guys haven't seen my my opening of the advent calendar for the pretty pink co i highly suggest you do because she had such amazing things in her, um, in her, oh, I should have put it a little bit more closer there. Okay, let's do that. No, we're not because I just heard, it, heard it's hair. That's okay. <laughs> we'll leave it as is. Um, but yeah, so her, her kits are like everything that was in the, uh, the, the box was really, really, they're all pretty, I think. There was only one day that I wasn't really a fan of. And to be honest, I was still able to use it. Like, I think it's the one I used the most so far um, out of all of them. But yeah, all the kits that came with the, um, with the, the advent calendar, they were all very, very gorgeous. So, I'm definitely going to be buying the advent calendar for 2024. 
um, if she does release them. And I'm probably going to get the one from Graceful Muse Papery as well. So, yeah, it's going to be an exciting 2024. Um, okay, so that's the floral trim. I did kind of want to use the floral trim in my bottom, um, the bottom washi. But the bottom washi is also floral, so I thought maybe it'll be too much. So I didn't bother. Let me show you guys the bottom washi. So here's the bottom washi. And yeah, I thought it would be a little bit too much if I put all the florals at the bottom. Okay. So for this one, like I said, I'm going to be doing the decorative. Um, sorry, I'm going to zoom you guys out a bit. The decorative sidebar. And she does include this little small kind of like washi trim. And I'm going to be putting it on the outside of the um, this box here. I'm just going to cover up that black line. And it should just go all the way up there. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. So I'm actually really excited to do this. Even though I'm a bit kind of like rough around the edges i want to see how everything is going to turn out like i said i really love her like her kit i haven't really heard much from the pretty pink co recently um she did come out with a bunch of like kits from from uh it's like a collaboration with her and the paper crown planner which is my favorite printable shop so but after that i haven't really heard anything from them so i'm not sure what's going on um i don't know if they're taking like they're both taking a break or they're doing more collaborations but i'm really really excited on what they have okay so here i'm not really going to be putting i'm well i'm gonna think about putting that deco trim but sorry not the deco trim the uh quilt box i will be taking this kind of i don't know like a script so that's let's grab that and the ink swatches as well So I'm just going to grab one kind of like grayish looking one and possibly, sorry, I'm just making this up as I go. Okay, let me put this one down first. Is that and then I kind of want to put this kind of like cabin scene on the side here oh this little lion cub will probably go here I wanted to put this hello winter but like it's not really like the beginning of winter for us so let me put that away um maybe i'll have a little scenic this little scenic alpine mountain just running here Another ink swatch. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull this up, but 
and I'm hoping I'm not gonna rip it. Okay. And let me see if I can grab a plural. Should I do a huge ass floral or a smaller floral? Smaller floral or big floral? Okay, let me try a smaller floral. Like, look at all that florals that she gives you. And mind you, all this came in like one day. So that was a really nice, like generous, um, advent calendar that she gave out okay so i'm gonna leave it as is for now um maybe i'll put a little reindeer here a little reindeer here and a bunch of snow so now it just looks like this huge Lion, tiger is um, um, basically walking all over the town. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. And some individual snowflake. And maybe some trees as well. Yeah, so see, it just looks like this little cub here is being a menace and doing some kind of Godzilla type of thing. Okay, so let's move on to the bottom washi. I should have done the bottom washi first before I actually put down this cabin because it is gonna rip and things are falling apart here okay so let me actually talk about my week instead of just going um putting down the stickers uh this week wasn't that busy of a week for me um because I I was off on Monday and Tuesday the week before, like the Sunday before, which is the 21st. It was my husband's birthday and we were supposed to go out, but I just never managed to do it. So that's the reason why I had two days off, but that's OK. I still I still kept my two days off, even if we didn't do anything because i wanted to spend that time with my husband um so monday and tuesday we were just literally kind of chilling um not doing a lot of things but yeah just spending time with each other um we started playing i don't know if you guys know what the job Diablo is. It's like this uh, computer game. It's like a very co popular computer game. And we've been playing it for quite some time now. So we started that week and until now we're still playing it. Um, but yeah, it's really quite fun. And it's something that my husband and I love uh, playing. So it's a win-win situation for the both of us. Um... But yeah, if you guys play Diablo, let me know. I'm interested to see what your character is. Um, yeah, so that's basically our Monday and Tuesday. Us just playing video games and enjoying our day off. Um, and then on Wednesday, I went to work. I am morning shift on Wednesdays. So I got to work at like nine o'clock. I was quite busy since I was off for two days, but I managed to do all the things that I needed to do. And I was done work, I think, 
I think I was done work right at six o'clock. Sometimes when I'm really, really busy, I end up staying longer than what I have to, but it was fine. I, I was able to leave at six. And then I actually got happy mail on that day, which is Sadie's stickers. I didn't realize it, but like, I believe I ordered Sadie's the beginning of January and then I received it like, like a month, like before the month was over. So I was really amazed at how fast it was, but it was her, um, it was like her old kits, like old format kits. I would have already did the haul for it. I'll try to link it down below if you guys are interested in it. But it is literally the haul that I just previously did. Um, yeah, I just got a bunch of like really nice kit of hers. And it was discounted to a really, really good price. So I was happy about that. The only problem was I had, I got hit by customs. So... Um, that's okay because like I said it was a good price and yeah on Thursday I had to wake up early because as always I'm early shift on Thursdays as well this was a quiet day because um, our for work relatively on Thursdays it's relatively quiet for us I don't really know why it's just it's just one of those like very kind of like calm relaxing day and I don't have to worry much about it so that was our Thursday and the scary thing is like at nighttime after work my dog had my dog has this random, like, we don't know if he gets leg cramps or seizures, but our vet said it was a seizure, but I don't know, like, it's, it's just basically his legs that's kind of like he has a hard time getting up because his legs are not working properly, but it doesn't happen too often. So our vet said that if it doesn't happen too often, um, we don't have to really worry about it. We just need to kind of make sure that he's in a safe place while things are going on the way it is. And yeah, so that night on Thursday, it happened and it was the first one for this year. Um, he at least gets one like once or twice a year and that's the reason why he the vet said that um, it's not happening too fre frequent that we have to worry about things. But yeah, it's so scary nevertheless. Because like, you see him, like you can see in his eyes that he's really, really scared. And that in turn kind of scares me. Um, but yeah, I just need to make sure that he's in a proper area where like no one is going to like, nothing is going to harm him. Um, but yeah, so that happened Thursday night. And then on after that, like literally after like, I don't know, like 10 seconds later, he's all good and he's like ready to move on with his day. So we're really, really not sure what goes on. Um, but yeah, our vet said it has like, we should be aware of it, but just not be worried about it, I guess. Um, yeah, so we're just keeping an eye on him at this point because we want to make sure that he's, he's safe when things happen the way it does. And hopefully it doesn't happen too frequent as he gets older because it's quite scary. Um, okay, so moving on, on, on Friday... I didn't have work on that day. Oh, no way. I did have work on that day. But this is also the start of the PBC sale. So, if you guys don't know, it's the Planner Collective Boss Sale? No. Planner Boss... I don't really know what it stands for. Planner Something Collective Sale. 
um but yeah it's a, a lot of people like participate in it especially really like um popular slash mainstream planner shops and i've been eyeing one shop in particular and she was part of the sale it was harriet harriet right the signs um i've been following her on instagram and i always see like all these pretty um spreads that she has and i also follow um oh what's her name it's like becky from and her youtube channel is oops i did it again i believe so i believe that's that's her um planner channel and that's actually the reason why i started like following her because i love her um her planner channel name and but she's also like her plan with me's are really um they're very entertaining she talks about her life and like just in general like the way she talks and communicates with people is just really really um entertaining and engaging engaging so that's the reason why i like watching her videos but yeah she has some harriet Wright designs um kits and they always look so pretty so i wanted to try them out and since she was part of the um sorry i don't know if you guys can see that but like my thing is bent and i don't know how it got bent um yeah so i wanted to try her out and i bought a bunch of her kits and to be honest with my luck these days i'm probably gonna get hit with another customs but i like i said i wanted to try it out so i did buy from her but i didn't buy it until like monday because sorry not monday sunday because i was really debating um if i wanted to um to pay for customs um i'm not really sure how i want to put my full boxes so i'm gonna leave it for now so i'm just gonna finish off talking about my my day while you guys stare at the base of the layout of my my spread um on saturday we had a little party with um my husband's family we i don't know if you guys ever heard of jollibee you know what i'm just gonna lay these down i don't know if you guys ever heard of jollibee it's basically like this very popular um fried chicken place that in the philippines and now it's like more kind of like widespread it's like all over the country now and we just had like a jollibee themed party so everyone brought like um food that they sell in jollibee so like you know my cousins brought um spaghetti and then there was hot dog um so we were in charge of the actual chicken so my husband and i actually just literally went to jollibee bought chicken because you can never recreate that it's like a holy grail chicken <laughs> um chicken restaurant in the philippines so you can never top it uh so we had that and we were at um my husband's cousin's place for most of the night um, we were playing cards and I did win. <laughs> yeah, I still have black bragging rights. So I'm going to keep at it until like someone else wins um, our next get together. Um, and then on Sunday, since we did come home really, really late, we just slept in um, until we had to go to church at like 11 o'clock. Yeah, so and we just had a really really chill day for sunday because it was just it was really really tiring just you know like being out late at night, night and like talking and you know like your social like capacity is to its max so before going to work i wanted to decompress so i just we just stayed home um and then after that after church we like i said we just stayed home we played more diablo and that was basically it that was our whole entire week it was a very very quiet week 
But nevertheless, it was still a good week. So can't complain. Yeah, so this is basically, I'm just gonna put this last full box down and then I'm gonna show you the whole entirety of this plan with me. So this is the layout. This is for the week of, now I don't even know, the week of the 22nd to the 28th. And I really, really love how this turned out. This, this I could have worked on a little bit better, but it's okay. We'll leave it as is. That big, huge cub is too huge, I feel, for that, um, that side. But like I said, I can live with it. And yeah, so if you guys like this, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and thank you so much, guys. Bye!